Welcome to the Hyaluronic Acid Injection Technique video presented by BioVentus. This video is intended as education for healthcare providers preparing to inject hyaluronic acid, HA, for the treatment of mild to moderate osteoarthritis of the knee. In this video, Dr. Michael Redler demonstrates one of several acceptable HA injection techniques. Clinicians may choose another technique based on their own experience, the patient's physical characteristics, or other factors. In this video, the injected HA is Durolane, a BioVentus product. In general, the demonstrated technique may be used for injecting other HA products. However, the needle gauge and other equipment used here may not be appropriate for other HA injections. In addition, the aseptic equipment and processes discussed and shown in this video may differ from those used by other providers. We encourage you to follow your practice's local or organizational procedures for ensuring a safe, sterile environment. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Redler. We'd like to share with you today an easy, reproducible technique for doing visco supplementation injections in the knee. We know that visco supplementation injections are very well tolerated as long as the medication is inside the knee. We like to use a superior lateral portal for a placement of the needle. This avoids the fat pad and is the most accurate, comfortable way of doing the injection. We use a 3cc syringe with a 22 gauge needle and we drop a cc and half of air. We then start the injection. If the needle tip is up against the fat, the fascia, the muscle, or the capsule, there's resistance. Once the needle tip is inside the knee, there is no resistance. We then use a hemostat to hold the hub of the needle, remove the 3cc syringe, and then inject the Duralane. Let me show you how we do the technique. We like to have the patient in the supine position on the exam table. We like the patella pointing up towards the ceiling. We then palpate an area just in the suprapatellar region where there's a soft spot, which will be the point of our entry. Once we have identified that, we'll prep with betadine twice. The betadine swirl becomes a target for where we're going to inject the needle. We use a 3cc syringe with a 22 gauge needle and we draw up a cc and a half of air. We palpate the patella and go laterally across there. If we're up against fascia or muscle or capsule, there's resistance. Once we're in the knee, however, there's no resistance. We then use a hemostat to hold the hub of the needle, remove the 3cc syringe, and then inject the Duralane. As you can see, because of proper placement of the needle, the Duralane flows in very smoothly. We cleanse the area with a alcohol wipe and then place a Band-Aid over the injection site. If desired, ultrasound can be used to help ensure placement. Once we are in the knee, we can inject, but we can also use ultrasound to help confirm placement. And what you can see with the syringe needle there is the cortex of the femur the patella and the suprapatellar region. You can actually see now the medication filling up that suprapatellar region and it demonstrates its radiopaque or lucent position on the ultrasound. This injection is easy and very well tolerated. We find the injection using this technique so comfortable that we don't need to use local anesthetic. We tell patients, just go about your business the rest of the day. If you're having any discomfort, you can ice it and use some over-the-counter medication. We also let patients know, don't expect to see any big difference for a couple of weeks. Thanks so much for letting us share this technique with you today.